walking show, an outdoor show in in Toronto, within the city limits, that you can take a shuttle to, and there are trees, and there's there are hills, and there's like if you kind of squint, you feel like you're not in the city. Because the kind of spectacle you can make in the great outdoors is very different than you can in the theater. Um, having the audience go through the journey with you um, is a beautiful interactive experience. It's absolutely stunning out there. I wish you landed on an iceberg. You'd fit right in. <laughs> Where else do you actually get to physically go on a journey in the terrain that you're supposed to be in and, and do it in real time? It's, it's so cool and it's, you know, we really get to play with the elements. fun it's it's a it's a huge challenge to do a show outside uh, in the winter it needs to be uh, lightweight enough for an actor to carry but uh, waterproof so that the uh, water wouldn't destroy it and uh, withstand cold temperatures or ice storms you know we have to roll with whatever the weather throws at us which is exciting and I think as an audience member you may be coming to something not quite sure what it is and you're going to show and it's outside and I'm going to be cold, and what are you guys doing? And then the lights come up over here and over there, and sound travels across um, the landscape. And it's so different than what you might experience as a regular theater-going person. I think that's one of the things I liked most is because it wasn't like every other piece of theater. I could, it was a different experience that I could tell people about. seen a two-headed troll before. <laughs> the company of people that you end up working with is absolutely unbelievable because it's all hands on deck. It's not like actors, crew, um, and then, you know, creative team. It's everyone putting all of their effort in to make uh, a beautiful piece together because everyone is totally reliant on each other. You sent out emails like, oh man, we got a s snowstorm. We got to get out and shovel the, the path. But you know, out of the woodwork, everyone, everyone comes. People, they don't, they say, what? We got to, okay, let's do it. And everyone chips in. All the different running around for the preset and the quick changes, everything is just a really incredible experience. We came back last night to go outside and, and um, there had been trees had fallen and, and we couldn't make an entrance and you, couldn't, you can't make an exit. And so you have to be uh, adaptable. The actual slide of the instrument wouldn't uh, wouldn't slide because it got so cold out. So we had to spray vodka on it. So that was a, a, a great improvisational technique to get through the show. One of the things is is that we're so aware of the audience and the movement that's needed for this, and and so everything needs to always be moving. Um, we can't stay put for very long, and I, I kind of love that the the sense of urgency. I mean. You could slip and fall, someone, you know, more audience, less audience, so the lighting guy can't hold the light where you're normally yeah. used to it. Um, the wind picks up and blows a costume. you got to put different <laughs> layers on. Oh, I put too many layers on. I'm sweaty now. I, you know, you're, you're constantly negotiating uh, with the elements. I wear two pairs of socks, Sorrells, long johns, jeans, snow pants, shirt, sweatshirt, coat, two pairs of gloves, and a hat. And, you know, everyone was a bit unsure about Torontonians kind of being able to handle being outdoors. And I think that not only do they do that, but they do, they do come together, which is, which is pretty glorious. It's where our epic collective experiences come from. I think it's from being outside. The Grey Cup, family camping trips, um, hitchhiking across Canada and being stuck in Wawa. Like, it's all, all those things that make us heroic when it's hard to be heroic in modern times. And I think it makes us collectively heroic. Oh, oh.